Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So I want to thank everybody for all the great comments, uh, especially regarding the Black Knight and Melee Loadout. Uh, I haven't done anything to it yet, but we are planning on doing some stuff to it. So let's have a quick look and see where we're at right now. Um, we do want to get in that, well, actually when we jump systems we're going to switch the engine around, but we want to get in that um, 350 core. So if we go to the, the uh, um, cores right now, we picked up at that 350 engine a little while ago. So switching that around, it's going to give us like 12 tons of stuff to work with uh, while still maintaining a fair bit of speed, which is awesome. So we're going to have a lot more space to do some stuff with. Um, and I think what we want to probably try and do um, is find some pirate gear. People were saying maybe like fire fists or plasma lances if we can find some. I don't think we actually have any plasma lances right now. Um, but definitely if we pick some up in the next little bit, maybe, I don't know, a T-cent maybe, but, um, yeah, we don't really have any right now. So, uh, you know, um, when we do actually get around to actually doing this, we definitely want to find some of that stuff and drop it in. Um, I even want to kind of go back to the flail. People say, I, I think it was one person made a comment that the flail is a, a kind of a drawback, but it really, for me, isn't when you're hitting a mech and you're doing 35 damage times three, uh, each one firing separately with plus one accuracy. That's like a, a, another bunch of heavy hits that could take, uh, you know, and the stability is 25 times three, right? You can knock somebody down very easily with this or destabilize them very, very easily with this. So I want to try and find a way of getting this back in. And with the extra, you know, uh, 11 and a half tons here, we should be more than enough to be able to drop this back in. So I'm going to attempt to do that as well. So yeah, let's just get out of this. So uh, I didn't jump systems. I want to pull off a really quick mission today. We're going to leave the Black Knight behind. Um, so there's one last mission I want to take on this planet, and it is against pirates. It's Renegade. Um, it's an assassinate mission. So we're going to negotiate this, and we're going to go straight down the center because we need sea bills. Actually, you know what? Let's go this route. We got enough sea bills for our financial report this way going to accept this and we're going to switch up the the lance just slightly so i'm going to leave the black knight out and we're going to leave megasaur out uh, i'm going to put satori here in at the end in the wolverine we're going to bring hot damn back in with the shadow hawk and we're going to run this lance so let's do this all right leaving a trail that anybody could follow well most likely leading us into a trap, but like why aren't they? Ah, uh, nobody over there. Okay, looks like it's going to be relatively straight up fight. Relatively, I say. Yeah. Commander. Sure. Let's give it a bit of speed in the first move here. Get a bit of close the gap a little bit better. Full so I'm considering. Um, Right now we have the bushwhackers set up as a like a long range missile loadout. I want to switch that around. I think I'm gonna pull that out. I think the Griffin is most likely may end up in that role. All right, let's move. Um, and we'll put the bushwhacker back into like a uh, a long range um, attack mode. Waiting for orders. All right, let's just walk it up. Let's get our stealth working. I mean, I'm really not that worried. It's like a couple of skulls, but I'm expecting like maybe a couple of medium mechs in total, but I want to try and get out of here with no damage. That way we can spend all our sea bills on uh, getting that Black Knight, uh, the new engine in the Black Knight and stuff. That'll be awesome. Now, I do have that. I do have an extra weapon mount that I haven't put on a, a mech yet. I considered putting it in the... Um, the bushwhacker with the three uh, ER larges, um, but I don't know yet. I hear ya. I don't think it really needs it right now. On my way. Still nothing. Waiting for orders. Still nothing. There we go. What do we got here? Javelin. Okay. Uh, that's just fire. It's got a pair of SRM four. It's not like I'm worried about them. Good to go. A couple of ER mediums on them. 
Yeah, a little laggy today. I don't know what's up with that. Yes, Commander. You definitely can't do anything. Just walk up here. Alright, what do we got? Exterminator. So that's like a 65 tonner, I think. I think we have exterminator parts, if I'm not mistaken. What else do we got back here? Mortar technical, huh? Let's just hit this guy harder. Or maybe not hit him at all. Come on, man. More than one, please. Alright, are we in SRM range? Probably not. No, ER yeah, medium range. Oh, something hit. Probably that torso going down. Oh, he shouldn't be an ultra 20 range. Nope. ER mediums, though. Here we go. Keep that tag up. Commander? You just worry about that exterminator. Stealth systems working really well today. Alright, what else have we got over here? A wolf found and a Myrmidon. Ah, I'm not even going to bother with the acid, just, just grind them up. Ooh, head hit, nice. Somebody can see us. Who is it? Javelin, looks like. No, he's going on turn 11, so it can't be him. Exterminator, he's jumping. Okay. Can we get some fire on that, please? I want him barbecued up, please. Until we deal with these other guys. Ah, taking the shot anyway. kind of cool that he's standing on top of the building. Although I don't think those buildings are made to support a 65 ton mech. Light damage, Commander. Alright, let's see if we can finish this guy off. Yep. Nice. Now Baba Yaga and Hot Dam will go over and deal with the exterminator while Satori and Sunflower deal with these guys. You want to shoot at us? How's this? Don't. He was shooting us. Let's reserve. We got an AC-20 shot off on these guys before. Doesn't look like it. Ready for orders. Moving out. Just gonna walk it, cool off. What can I do for you? Same thing. Uh -huh. Commander. Okay, can you reach this guy? Pretty much. Roger. Pretty much. Well, this base is going to go up in flames, but whatever. Wow, four heat. Four whole heat. Once he moves, though, it'll be a different story. You're gonna be in the flame hawk, you gotta be right in the friggin' line of fire. Wow, that good a chance to hit, eh? Nice. Uh, target ain't going anywhere. He's turning his leg away from us. He's chicken! Chicken! You just stand there. Oh yeah. There goes that leg. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Should be able to burn the other one off. Waiting for orders. 
Want to go after that Myrmidon? Probably. You Probably he's trying to skirt the edge of the map there. Trying to sneak up on us, a little bugger. You like that? No, I don't think he does. I think he's had his fill of being here. So Hot Dan might be able to burn the leg off that guy. So, just going to walk it up, I think. Yeah, look at the chance to hit there. Roger. It's nice. Alright, how much has it got left here? Not much. About 40 or 50. So, let's just go with that. Roger that. There we go. Both legs destroyed. Oh, I got the right torso and right arm, eh? Must have got ammo or something. Good to go. Must have got the ammo or something. Yeah, could you imagine this wolfhound shock? He, <laughs> he's just making his way up the hill, he hears his buddy die, and then this wolverine with an ultra 20 shows up and just kills him. Oh, only got the arm though. Iron torso? I don't, know. I don't think he does. I think he's done for the day. I think he is done for today. Yep. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 25%. That's awesome. Oh, hot damn, he's getting a thousand experience. Nice. So let's take the exterminator part um, because why not? And light PPCs, nah. Mortar, sheath beacon, core. Not a lot here, double heat sinks. We don't have a lot of double heat sinks, do we? Hope we get this. Yeah, not much else down here. Let's hope we get the double heat sink. Nope. All right. Jade Falcon took something from Abandon, eh? Cool. I wonder how far along they are. I'll have to find out when we get to Falcon Freeborn. I'm, doing, I'm gonna record a episode of that right after this one. Uh, 10K for repairs, that's nothing. All right. So, Black Knight, I think we're probably going to leave it for now because if we do try and fix it up, I don't know if we're going to be able to fill. We don't really have the stuff I want to use to be able to fix it up with, though. Let's just have a quick look again. We have the sea bills now. I'm thinking about we might as well go for it, do what we can. Um, let me see here. So let's... You see, it's got a Clan XL in it. Tonnage, minus 26. So just for the sake of argument, if we were to go with... I know we'll need to change stuff for this, but... Uh, we should probably just go right here, and find the 350 core a little easier. Let's go with the 350. Let's move the Watchdog Suite for a second, because I want to see how this pirate... We don't have the slots for it, eh? I'd have to pull out the XL gyro. Yeah, now we're over a ton. As much as I want to use this... Yeah. Not much we can really do there. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about that one. Uh, okay, so let's look at some melee gear here real quick. And let's go back. Let's get a laser AMS in here. Can we get a laser AMS in here? We can in the head. We don't have any room in the head. Um... Boomstick is too heavy. After we get the ammo in, there's just no uh, way. So let's put a flail in. Uh, from what I understand, I haven't upgraded to the newest version yet. I will be doing that at some point. I was planning on doing it today, but it just never happened. Holidays never really always seem to go the way you want them to. 
I was end up doing a variety of different things. Um, well, for me anyway, most of my holidays I, I don't really go anywhere. So um, let me see here. Large combat shield. I'm gonna put it on this side. We can put that back in for now. Reduce damage. Plus nine heat when activated. Ten percent chance for failure on activation. Fifty percent additional chance for failure on consecutive turns. Really? I guess if you're planning on getting hit by big energy weapons, this would definitely be a, a bonus to turn on or off, but I don't know. I don't know. We got tons more energy slots too though. Well actually we got a we've got a Do we put the um fluid gun back in the arm? Or do we just go with the we just put the laser AMS in the arm? I like the idea of this mech being really protected. We don't have any more slots for this stuff though. Uh, did we, I think we picked up, did we not pick up another pirate ER medium? I guess not. I know it showed up in the uh, loot table, but I thought we got it. But I kind of re half remember saying, oh, it's nice that we have that, but we can't use it right now. I guess not. Unless I've just not seen it here. Nope. Not there. Still got like five and a half tons. What the hell do we do with five and a half tons? How do we do with five and a half tons? Cooling pot, I guess. Oh, we took the claws off before. That was what we did. We don't have space for it now, though. One additional free slot. What will we pull out? Let's put the watchdog back in the center. Um, I guess we could pull out the laser AMS. How much does the claws weigh? I mean, the end of steel is only giving us three and a half. If we do that and that, it's really putting the claws in at the wrong time. You'd want to put the spiked armor in after. But for now, I don't really want to go ahead and. Sh I should be doing it though. Let's do it. Let's pull this out. Pull this out. I think that's it. So let's confirm this. We'll start to jump this system and then we'll put those back in. Okay, so where are we going? Uh, we gotta find a place. It's at least three skulls. Something that wolf is at. Now we could go, this was one and a half. We were there a little while ago. What's close by? I don't want to spend a lot of time in transit. There's 15 days for two and a half skulls. That's only one. Looks like Valkrit's taking some stuff here. Steiner is actually fighting as well here. Yeah, let's go the 15 day route. Where are you here? No. Well, that's 26 days, Snowden. Not Bora. Not Bora, Bora, Bora. Where was it? Right there. It's a Martian environment though. Sure, why not? Let's jump over there, fight some clans. Alright, we'll have to see how we do in the heat then. Yeah. Had a couple comments about the uh, getting the pirate um, ax, black, black market access, and there's really not a lot in there. 
I mean, I guess rare mech parts might show up there every once in a while, but I don't. I went. How often have I actually bought mech parts? Like never. Of course, you're always prompt with that fucking financial report, aren't you? Interrupting me when I'm fighting and prompt with the financial reports. The two things I can always count on Darius for. All right, um, let's go back to the mech bays now. And we'll drop our DNI cockpit and our spiked armor back into the Black Knight. Let's refit this. I want to refit the bush that bushwhacker at some point. Not going to do it right away, only because sea build problems. When don't we have sea build problems? We got a spike fist too, but it's not as good as ta or the claws. And the DNI cockpit is down here. There you are. Dropping that back in. So let's confirm this. I haven't used it all that much. But I will at some point. Yeah, we're running, running low on sea bills. Let's hope we get some good missions here. Thank you. I can always count on Yang. I still love that animation. It's awesome. I like that they changed it up too. It's cool. Like Alright, not going to bother with the store. Because there's going to be nothing here. But let's have a look at the contracts. Right after we go to the barracks. And check out Hot Dam here. Right. Nothing yet. And I think the rest of us are pretty, pretty good here. Do I want to go guts here? Overheat threshold. Plus 10. Let's go that route. Let's crank our guts up. Training complete. Definitely need that for sure. Alright, Satori. Um, initiative indirect fire penalty. Uh, let's just hang on. You're not going to be doing much anyway. Not for a bit, anyway, anyhow. Okay, so, contracts. What do we got? Hostage rescue for Wolf. What do we got down here? Three and a half. Hide the evidence. Destroy a base. Wolfian black site. Well, we can certainly do that. Yeah, man. No honor among thieves, I suppose. Nope. No honor among thieves. Let's go full salvage on this one. We're pretty good as far as timing for the end of the month. So let's go this route. Plus, can, clan gear is worth a lot. If we pick up, pick up an XL engine, we can definitely just sell it. Now, I know we do have a few still, but uh, this uh, cataphract I want to get run up and running soon, too. Uh, got one ballistic, five laser hard points on this guy. This guy might be a good candidate. Um, someone was, it was, uh, um, Fist of Dorm was mentioning try, maybe trying the bombast and, uh, VSPL lasers. So maybe this is the cataphract. It's a good uh, good um, chance to actually try that loadout. So we might go ahead and do that on this guy and put in the um, um, the prototype double heatsink kit. Maybe we'd have to pull it out of the bushwhacker for that, but or not. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. All right. So let's deploy and get this done. Hey, guess who started talking and forgot to put Megasaur back in the lineup? I'm ready to fight, Commander. You better be, because we don't have our melee mech with us. Damn it. Double time. Attention deficit disorder. Standing by. Aye, aye. I know we probably shouldn't be sprinting the first turn against the clans, but I am going to do it. Man, this bushwhacker is going to be running so hot. Commander? And Please this mech is going to be useless. Enemy detected. Let's hope they don't see us. Just shh. Waiting for orders. Stay real quiet. Coordinates received. Just sneak. Sneak, I tell you. Black Knight. Oh, Christ. Crab. Baloney, catapult. What's up, boss? Shh. On it. Acid. Get the acid ammo you know ready. We got a black knight. Uh -huh. Shh. Stop the chattering. What can I do for you? 
You can reserve. Order. Shh. Stay very, very quiet. They don't know we're here. They don't know we're here. They don't know we're here. Shh. I hear ya. They don't know we're here. 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 Just stay very quiet. Waiting for orders. Let's not wake up the sleeping giant. Let's just move real quietly. Get into a position that we want to be in. Thank God for the void systems. No, I'm thanking God. I don't, I don't believe in God. So thank uh, whatever. Thank the void system for the void system. Like the scientists for the void systems. Whatever. Whatever. We are not in strike range yet. I think we take a shot though. Let's go after the baloney. Armored LRM, eh? That's actually pretty darn good heat, considering we're in a warm environment. Yeah, I'm liking this loadout. I hear ya. I mean, it's not the best loadout, but it's pretty good pinpoint damage. Oh, not enough to kill. I don't think it likes it, but it's going to take it, regardless. Right. Your job is to Black Knight. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to shoot the turret. And the reason is, is I think my other mechs can handle the baloney. The baloney's almost gone. Let's shoot the baloney again. Or we could just miss it too, that works. What can I do for you? We could just miss it and be very sad. Firing again. Wow, at least we hit with the tag. Cause that was important. I'm here. Let's just stay right here. They can't see you. I should shoot the baloney, but I'm going to shoot the tower this time. Again. Let's get rid of this LRMs. Pretty close. Good to go. Get the baloney. Time to die. There we go. Nice. You did. Black Knight's going to be Order. next, I think. Right after, right after this LRM tower goes down. Which I think we can probably do here. I think. No, only got it with one. Just stay right there. I know you're ready to go. Just, but just relax. You, you'll get your shot in a minute. You'll get your shot. Crap a pult. Tower's got. We just need one hit on it. So I'm going to multi. I'm going to go after you and you. Oh, that's got to stay on A. Okay. Multiple 
Roger. Engage. Soften him up a little bit. Waiting for orders. I should be softening up the Black Knight, but... Don't need to tell me twice. I want to try and get as much from that as I can. Uh -huh. So I don't want to rip, rip its armor apart. And I'm afraid to move in. I'm You're fine. You just brace here. Roger. I'm afraid to move in and engage it. Um, simply because there's the three turrets left back there. And I don't really want to incur their wrath. Wow, only one out of those three, eh? Okay, back up. Waiting on you, Commander. Huh. What do you think? Forget it. If we're going to do it, we're going to try for a headshot. But you know what? Let's give it a better chance to hit. Firing. Alpha strike. Yeah, well. Can't win them all. On my way. What's up, boss? All right. Uh, you... Are you in range of the SRMs? You are in range of the SRMs. Oh, wow, we CT hit them both. Two heavy lasers, two heavy medium Oh my god. All right, let's hammer this guy. My kid's yelling downstairs. Sorry, guys. Target, CT. Yes. I shouldn't have tried for the headshot. I was Commander? greedy, greedy. All right, let's just put some infernos on him just in case he is functioning. Make him a little bit hotter. Okay, you hold off. Let's reserve you. Standing by. Standing by. Um. Want to just offensive put? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just kill this guy if we can. Not quite. Good to go. Oh, we got our uh, friendly neighborhood uh, catapult back. Standing by. Ah, man, I got a question. I don't know if, um... These guys must have really bad sensors. I don't know if moving in like that... Like, so if he picks me up on his sensors, and then I move, or then he dies, does everybody else still see me for a turn? That's a good question. Just attack this guy. Thank you. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Don't move too far. Alright, got our warlord back. Let's use this. I'm just worried. These are clans, right? So it's like gotta be careful here. Probably second line clan unit though. On my way. We do have another turret. So ER mediums. Let's just uh let's go for the leg on this guy. Yes, Commander. Just stay back here for now. Order acknowledged. It's actually, you know what, now that I think about it, it's probably really good we didn't bring the Black Knight. Because this would not be a fight the Black Knight could uh, really engage in. What do we got back here? Heavy Shredder Turret. 300 armor. AC 20. So it's close range. We don't have to worry about that guy. So let's hit this guy up. Let's go after his leg. Oh yeah. There it goes.
I forgot what we have down here. A crab. Commander. Let's get some Copy speed that. going here. So what's on this turret? No idea. But... Ah, oh, really? Engaging I hear ya. I shouldn't have left the Ultra 20 out. Oh, I didn't. What was I thinking? You're out of range with everything. Just stand over here for now. Catapult's getting up. That's it. That's it. Uh, we cannot hit the other leg from here. So let's shred this turret. God, this is such an easy match. It takes forever to play it, but... We're all void in this one, though. That's why. All right, let's just hammer this guy straight out. Reporting critical hit. Waiting on you, Commander. No, I'm waiting on you. Kill this guy for me, will you? Firing everything I've got. Thank you. Dang, you're dead. He is dead. Got it. Waiting for orders. Wow, she's even completely useless in this mission. I think my, my mechs have become so specialty that it's like... I can't, like, they're not even effective. That's why I'm... Like, they're really, this lance is really set up for a specific type of battle, and that's it. Okay, I don't know if they're going to get within... ER range, anyway. He's got two ER larges. Got it. Really? Yes, Commander. Got it. What does this back turret have? LB tens, LB fives, LB two cluster ammo. Okay. Locked on target. Commander. Just move you out as another target. Affirmative. Now, let's not get greedy. I could just sprint in and and finish this up, but... Then they could shoot at me, and I don't want to take damage. Are you kidding me? Who wants to take damage? Not me. Oh, still not in range, eh? You miss with one with like 94% chance to hit. Okay, Ultra 20 in range. There we go. I'm here. Roger. Yep, Inferno, why not? Still can't see us. Okay, you should be able to easily finish this turret up. So let's multi between here and here. This is going to go on B. And those are going on A. Okay, no problem with that. Okay, a little bit of damage there. Should put us in range of being able to kill it, I think. We're in good position to do this now. A little bit over in heat. Just drop one of these, firing. Okay, turrets are all gone. Sure did. Surprise, motherfucker! Ooh, he's got ERPPCs.
Oh. What is up with those misses? My God. Yes, Commander. Roger. We gotta deal with this guy. Let's do this. Okay. I only got two. Now we can fire. Ah, forget it. Why am I messing around with this guy? Let's just kill him. Waiting for orders. Uh -huh. It's just going to get me in trouble if I don't. Let's hammer him. See ya. Should be plenty of salvage on the ground for us to use. Alright, let's finish these buildings up and go home. That was actually pretty well, pretty well done run. Sure is. Payday. I'm receiving you. Wow, that's not in range of the flamers? Really? Interesting. Rot it down, Commander. Burn it down. Burn it all to the ground. One fifty. It might as well just go over heat and then uh, we're done. There it is, folks. Wow, I got, all I got to say is Void System for the win. That was a uh, pretty good example of how the Void System works really, really well. Hot oh, damn, lots of XP, nice. Christ, we could have gone in there with like two max, with two long range max and easily taken care of that. Uh, lots of good clan stuff, so heavy large lasers, LRM 20, LRM 10. If we're going to build an LRM boat, we want to do it with clan stuff, that's for sure. Clan Heat Bank. It's really awesome. Enhanced imaging. Double heat sinks. Yeah, I didn't get any engines. I mean we cored everybody, so there's not much not much we could really do about that. But that's kind of good. Um we got two of these still. Um Clan ER PPC? The other thing we could do with the cataphract is make it a uh, PPC carrier. We do have one of these, we can make it two. We've got one of these still. I'm gonna grab another one and then I'm gonna grab the Black Knight C part. Wait, do we have we don't have any catapult C parts. Tons of crab parts, which we don't need. Let's just grab the Black Knight C part. I think I'm kind of happy with that. All right, one, two, three, four extra crab parts. Clan Flamer. Oh, we got two heavy lasers. Heavy medium. Clan Case, double heat sink. Yeah, so not bad. All right. So, oh, great, crab. 21. Light auto can of fives and MML launchers. That's the one that we had from before. So now we got two. Hooray! Two mechs with a weird ass set of load. Yeah, we took no damage. That's awesome. All the money straight to the bank. Excellent. Um, let's have a look at the base here real quick. Wonder if we just scrap this guy. See what he's got on him. Yeah, it looks like everything is trashed on this thing. Pretty much so. We got patchwork materials though. Double heatsink kit. Uh, damaged DCM and, and uh, AC5, but other than that. Yeah, so let's just trash this guy. And make the RC bills that way. 
So 605,000, all the components are going into our inventory. Cool. There's our uh, financial report. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, cool. So that mission is just kind of confirmed for me. The mechs that we have, the specialty mechs, are really situational. Um, the Flamehawk and the Black Knight are really situational. Um, I think for things like uh, base capture or um, base destruction, I think the Black Knight and the Shadowhawk should just sit out. Um, sad to say, but that's probably has, how it has to be. And then for battles and stuff like that, um, or if we're doing base defense or things like that, then the, definitely the Black Knight and maybe the Shadowhawk will come in. Um, but I'm thinking that's probably how it's going to have to go. The Bushwhacker, uh, I think, needs to get switched from the LRM loadout to a close-range build. And we switched the Griffin probably to a long-range build. And then the Cataphract um, to an energy build of some sort. If we have a look at this guy, I think the energy hard points are all in the torsos, though. Now, there's two in... Yeah, we've got three in the arms. Oh, there's the pirate medium laser I was thinking about. There's two of them here. All right, let's just strip all the gear off this and max out the armor and we'll just get this going for now and then next time when we come back we'll figure out what we're going to do with this guy um, maybe this is the case where we do do a double like a double p like long range er ppc build but uh, we'll have to see how it goes we're going to need to generate some more c builds to here too i think we really want to get those xl engines and stuff in these mechs and i don't really have the ability to do that because it's like over a mil it's about a million per per mech to do it um, so uh, that's going to give us a lot more, um, uh, what do you want to call it, like space for, for stuff to, to put in. Like once we get the engine in here, like if we go to equipment real quick uh, and grab the Clan XL engine, right, we're going to have enough five, we're going to have another five and a half tons to, let, to fix this guy up, put some more heat sinking in, whatever else we want to put on him, right? But it's going to cost us a million, right, plus whatever else we do. So... We need to generate C bills and we need to do it fast, I think. So we're going to try and do that. Right now, I've been kind of relying on patchwork materials, which has been okay. But every time we lose one, it's like I feel like I had to take another one in my salvage selection. We got a couple half tons left over, but not much. So, all right. Um, confirm this. All right, we're going to leave the episode there. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. How do you feel about the Cataphract? What do you think we should do with it? Um, I don't want to do another melee mech. Uh, we could make it melee, but um, I think the Black Knight is working really, really well as the melee mech. So we're going to leave that one as that. This could be a double PPC loadout, or it could be the Bombast uh, dual VP, uh, VSPL laser. Because uh, I haven't really tried out what the Bombast and the VSPLs can do. Maybe we do that first anyway. Throw them in. Check out how it works out. Um, just do a little bit of experiment on it. Take a, take a round of like a three, three and a half skull mission just to test it out. Um, just see how it performs. Because uh, we know how the dual ERPPC will perform. Um, it'll perform really, really well. The damage, like we have the plus 15% damage um, PPC capacitor. So those PPCs will be hitting for 82 each. Um so those are two big heavy hitters for a lot of heat, but maybe the uh, Bombast and the VSPLs will be just as good, but we'll have to see. All right, so until next time, we'll see everybody later.